mystery seeds sent to Americans from China. What are they? Welcome back to China Uncensored, I'm Chris Chappell. If you watch our other show, America Uncovered, you'd have heard this news. Mysterious packets of seeds that appear to come from China have now popped up in mailboxes in all 50 states. Various state and federal government agencies have been warning Americans not to plant them. They were concerned they could be an invasive species, even some form of biological warfare. So of course, many Americans did the only logical thing. They planted them to see what's inside. Doyle Crenshaw from Boonville got these strange seeds in the mail two months ago. He says curiosity took over and he planted them. About every two weeks I'd come by and put miracle Grow on them and they just start growing crazy. The miracle Grow? That's about as opposite the government's advice as you can be. That's like when the government tells people to wear masks to stop the spread of the coronavirus, you start licking the subway poles. Curiosity is not an excuse to do something so stupid. Um, so yeah, what, what did grow? The plant has a large white fruit and orange flowers, much resembling a squash plant. Huh, a large white fruit that looks like a squash. Uh, Shelly, where did we get this again? What do you mean it was just outside the door of our studio? I wonder what it tastes like. You know, I feel like stories like this are why British newspaper, The Guardian, will never understand America. They just can't understand American greatness. But as far as I know, only four people out of thousands have said they planted the seeds. Of course, others may have planted them too, but not admitted it. But. People are understandably curious about the mystery seeds from China. And now we have some answers. According to the USDA's Animal and Plant Health Inspection Service, seed packets include a mix of ornamental, fruit, vegetable, herb, and weed species. Wow, just in time for Bill and Ted 3. What's that, Shelley? Not that kind of weed, okay. But this is good news because the agency did not link the seed to agroterrorism. Hmm, well that's good news. And it looks like good eating. So then why were people getting mysterious packages from China that said things like jewelry or stud earring, but were really seeds? Well, it's called a brushing scam, where sellers try to boost sales by sending unsolicited items to unsuspecting customers, then post false online reviews of the item. So if you got these mystery seeds in the mail, there's nothing to worry about except that it means someone in China has your name and address. And now is the time when I answer questions from you, my loyal 50 cent army, fans who support what we do, to the crowdfunding website Patreon. Phoenix of Fortune asks, if China Uncensored is banned on YouTube, where else can we find you? Well, that certainly is a horrible thought. Now, I'd like to say there's no way YouTube would go so far as to actually ban China Uncensored. In fact, when they demonetize episodes about topics like Hong Kong or the coronavirus, they always say, well, we aren't actually removing those videos. Except, of course, when they do remove them. But so far, we've appealed all our removals and gotten them restored. We are very careful not to violate any of YouTube's community guidelines. So in theory, YouTube has no grounds to ban the show. If they do, there are some bigger issues with YouTube and its parent company, Google, than just my show. However, worst case scenario, we do have a website, ChinaUncensored.tv. We're currently in the process of updating the site to make it, well, a lot more functional. It'll also be a platform for our other shows, the China Unscripted Podcast and America Uncovered. You should check them both out if you haven't already. They're also on YouTube. For now. Thanks for your question, Phoenix of Fortune. And for all of you watching, consider joining the China Uncensored 50 Cent Army. You'll have a chance to ask me questions on the show, and there are some other cool perks as well. Check out patreon.com slash China Uncensored to learn more. Once again, I'm Chris Chappell. See you next time. God. Shelly, 
I'm gonna need ketchup. All the ketchup. <laughs>